Hi, I'm Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video is one I've been wanting to do for a while and I'm finally getting around to doing it. And I'm going to be going over all of the nude sticks that I own, kind of going over which ones I like, um, well, which ones I love, which ones I like, and there's none that I, I don't like, to be honest, and what I like about them, and then going over the shades, because I know when I was purchasing them, I was really torn as far as what shades I wanted, so I'm going to be swatching and comparison, especially the blush shades, to kind of give you a comparison, at least on my skin tone, and uh, to give you, you know, hopefully if you're in the market for any of these nude sticks, you will get a better idea of which one to choose for yourself. So I got introduced to nude sticks by a makeup artist, Austin Ride, and he did my makeup um, in July of 2021, and I asked him what he was using. He told me nude sticks. He says it was the best, and my makeup lasted. It lasted, you know, for, you know, hours and hours and hours, so I was really impressed with that, and then when they went on sale in the spring of 2022 in the uh, Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, I stocked up. I used them on a cruise and I absolutely loved them. They're perfect for like a cruise vacation, but they're also perfect for every day. Really quick on the go, you can put it in your purse. They're awesome. So um, one of the, they did just come out with a new one, um, a nude matte luxe uh, blush. I do not have any of those. So I don't have any of the new ones, but I do have, I have the um, Nudies Bloom blush stick, the Nudies Matte blush stick, and the Nudies Bronze bronzer stick and then the nudies glow highlighter stick so those are the four i have and i have a couple different options i'm going to do swatches of each of those so let's start with the nudies bloom blush stick and this states it's a skin loving fresh dewy blush that provides fresh sheer color for cheeks eyes and lips it instantly gives features a pop of sheer translucent color that is lit from within so i have three of these shades the shades i have are Cherry Blossom Babe, which is considered a rose flush, Bohemian Rose, which is a fuchsia, and Sweet Peach Peony, which is a soft peach. So these are, the original ones were matte. These have, like I said, it says a dewy finish. So let's start with Sweet Peach Peony, and I'm gonna swatch it here. So this is Sweet, sweet Peach Peony. Next up is Cherry Blossom Babe. There you go. And this last one is Bohemian Rose, which is pretty new to my collection. And as you can see, it is a mini. So um, now with these, you can see that these two are fairly similar, where you have this one, which is the Peach Peony, is definitely peach, um, definitely a warmer tone. These are very, very similar. Um, so if you are looking, these are the first two that I purchased. I thought these were really good because they gave me a versatile color um this one just came in a set and i i do really like it but i don't know if you need both but those are the three that are the dewy finish okay next up are the nudies matte blush stick and i believe these were the original blush stick and again they're matte um they came out with different additional colors and then they came out with the um the nudie bloom which has the dewy one and then they just recently came out with the matte luxe so they, the only one i don't have is the new matte luxe i don't really understand what the difference is between the original matte blush sticks and the matte luxe um so if anyone knows please put it in the comments below but the shades that i I have well first of all it says it is a creamy blush stick that brings out your skin's complexion and beauty giving you a natural blush that will make you look healthy and youthful um, and the shades that I have are in the nude which is a neutral nude naughty and spice which is a dusty rose nude salty siren which is a rosy coral and body language which is a neutral nude rose so i am actually wearing today a little bit of a combination of in the nude and naughty and spice i kind of just combine them a little bit on the cheek and you can do that as well very very easy so let's start with um well let's start with naughty and spice so here is naughty and spice and as you can see it's definitely got a lot more um i guess opacity compared to the the blooms next is in the nude which is a neutral nude next up is salty siren which is a rosy coral and finally we have body language which is a neutral nude rose so personally i really prefer the matte ones these are nice 
but they they are very dewy and they're very sheer. I much prefer the um, the original matte. I, I'm curious about the matte Lux, but if you are looking to get a new one of these, I and you or you've never tried them before, I would definitely go for one of the matte shades. I think they're just they're more versatile and I think they just last longer. Okay, now we're going to move over to the bronzer sticks. These are an all-over matte cream bronzer. These multitasking bronzer sticks will bring a supple warmth and bronzing effect to your skin, enhancing the beauty of your face, eyes, and lips. So, um, and honestly, of the all of their products, these are probably my favorite. Um, I love a cream bronzer. They're just so versatile. Sometimes, even if I'm not using the blush, I will use one of these. They're fantastic. Um, I just absolutely, absolutely love them. So um, the two shades that I have are Bondi Bay and Terracotta Tan. So Bondi Bay is described as a neutral soft tan, and then Terracotta Tan is described as a neutral bronze tan. So there is a subtle difference, but it's not huge. And um, so let me go in, and I will say my favorite is Bondi Bay, um, but uh, let's go ahead and this is going to be Bondi Bay. And then here is Terracotta Tan. So as you can see, Terracotta Tan, it definitely is a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. Um, you know, I can use both, um, but if I'm not tan, I will use Bondi Bay. If I have, um, you know, quite a bit of a tan, I will go in with the terracotta tan, but both are beautiful, but I prefer the Bondi Bay personally just for my skin tone, but I think both are absolutely beautiful and they last. I did forget to mention that I am wearing the terracotta tan today. I did go in with that. So, um, you know, it's not, it's definitely not too dark. I just have to go a little bit lighter handed, but it, I definitely make it work. Um, the next is the last two are going to do are the two glow highlighter sticks that I have. And these are described as cream highlighter sticks that glide onto your skin to create a lit from within glow. I have the shades bubbly, bubbly baby. New, which is described as a neutral champagne gold, and Hey Honey, which is described as a warm honey gold. I will tell you, on the skin, it's a very, very subtle difference. Um, the only reason why I have two is because the um, Hey Honey came in a mini kit. So I do like the size of this though, because it's great for travel, and um, I can use it you know, up here, I can use it in the corner because it's so tiny, where if this one I do have to kind of go in with a uh, a little brush to do, you know, if I want to do the height, the brow bone and stuff. Um, but they're fantastic. I, you know, I highly recommend if you want to try this to get one of the mini sets. They're really great. Um, one of the sets I got was Bohemian Rose, Bondi Bay, and the Hey Honey, which was a great um, set. And it's, again, great for travel. So let's go in with Bubbly Bebe, which is this one right here. And then this is Hey Honey. So that's Hey Honey. So you can see, I mean, it is very, very subtle. They're both gold. Um, hey Honey is a warm honey gold. And I, I can wear either. I think both are beautiful. And um, yeah, that's, they're, again, I, I don't even think you could tell the difference. So there you have it. Those are all of my swatches of my nude sticks. And um, hopefully swatching them kind of gives you an idea of which ones, um, you know, what they look like on the skin as opposed to the pictures on their website. Now, which ones are my favorite? Um, so In the Nude and Naughty Spice are probably my two favorite from the matte uh, blush sticks. Um, and then I do really like Body Language and Salty Siren as well. So I really love all four of the nudie mats. I, I, I think they all give something different, but in the nude and naughty spice are probably my two favorite and the ones I use, use the most. The nudies bloom sticks, the dewy, I'm just not a dewy person. So I do wear those, but I just don't wear them very often. Um, so I wear those, 
Um, just I, I wear them, you know, less. And then if I do wear them, it's usually when I'm layering it with uh, a powder. So like a powder blush on top. So um, those I just wear not as often. But I do like them, but I don't think I would purchase the blooms again. Um, I really prefer the mattes. The bronzer, I like both. I think I prefer Bondi Bay just because it's a little lighter and it's a little bit more neutral. Um, but I think they're both beautiful. It really just depends on your skin tone. And then the glow highlighter sticks, I mean, they're so similar. It's, um, I really, I only prefer one over the other is if I need a small one or I need the, the bigger one. So bub Bubbly Bay Bay is probably the one I like the most um, and it seems to be the most popular. But um, if you were going to try them, um, you know, get like that set, the, be the set that I purchased, again, it had Hey Honey, um, Bondi Bay and Bohemian Rose. Those are three really great shades and it's going to give you an idea of if you like them. Um, and again, really great for travel, really great for a cruise and it comes in a little tin, which is really nice too. So um, if you have shades that you like uh, and you're, what are your favorites, you've tried nude sticks, then put them in the uh, you know comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And if this video helped you, I hope it did. And with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone.